welcome back 40k fans uh, to this product review um, for the channel on Battleforged Brothers. So it's uh, Stu from the channel. I got in touch with Spellcrow Miniatures um, and basically asked them um, can we do a review of some of your more 40k orientated products because um, they do a lot of um, a lot of fantastic miniatures on their website. Uh, which I'll certainly put links in the video to direct you to that if you haven't already heard of Spellcrow. Um, lots of their own little twists on their own designs, uh, lots of like barricades that are unique. Um, so just before I get into the products, obviously this, they did send me through two boxes. Now I haven't actually looked in any of these. Uh, the only reason this actually doesn't have any kind of sellotape or anything on it is because I've had to take it off because it was sellotaped to the one underneath. Now I haven't seen anything inside of it, uh, but before we get into that, just a bit of information about Spellcrow as well. Um, first of all, the, 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 the actual casts that they do um, is, is like a resin, um, and so far as what I've seen on other, other channels, um, the casting process is amazing. So I'm looking forward to giving you a review for that. But considering that I contacted them about on the 15th or 16th of October, and at the time of the recording of this video, it's the 24th, um, so you're looking at about eight to nine days that, um, that, that the guys have sent everything through. Now, they are obviously very busy as well. There's multiple different channels that are doing reviews, and they've also got their own stuff, so um, hands down for the postage. Um, now, I'm obviously in the, the northeast of uh, England. Now, I don't know what it would be like ordering internationally, um, from obviously like things like the States, it was naturally taking a little bit longer for that, but apart from that, very, very impressed with the packaging and uh, the postage of course as well. So without you, uh, let's have a look into the first box um, and the one after. So there's a couple of things that uh, I did request, um, so don't know what on earth they've been sending us, so let's have a quick look. So first impressions straight away is very well packed. In these nice little Ziploc bags and it looks as though these are uh, yes these are one of the products that we asked for which was the Necron style objectives and uh, these little obelisks just trying to get them out without breaking them yep great so yeah we're getting six of these and as you can see very highly detailed and there's obviously another set there just put them aside but I mean the casting on these I mean, there's hardly any flashing, and there's, as far as I can see, there's no real mold lines to them as well. Um, I mean, with the cracks and everything down there as well, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, we can definitely use these, even if it's just on a Necron's base, you know, we could put them on bases for things. But I think, I think we'll probably end up using these as uh, objective markers for Necrons, so very impressed with that. Um, and like I say, there's hardly any mold lines, so they would literally just be spray and done. So fantastic for them. So that's one of the products that we asked for. Um, just underneath, it looks as though... Yeah, these are Necron-style crystals by the looks of it. Now, of course, on the channel, if you've already been uh, watching some of the battle reports, you'll see that um, I have my Necron Force and Graham's got his own, so... He'll be looking to pinch some of these off me, and these are fantastic. I mean, look, there's not not any ounce of flash on these at all. Very nice and clean, and there's a very degree of different sizes as well, so I'll definitely be using some of these, and Graham, of course, on the channel will be wanting to stick some on uh, some of his Necrons, uh, even if it's just bases, of course, but absolutely fantastic. So looking forward to that. Um, oh, marvellous. Looks as though these are the Eldar Barricades uh, that we requested. Now, currently on the website as well, for any of you Eldar players out there, especially with the new codex coming out, if you're wanting to theme your games um, with terrain or anything like that, I'd highly recommend these. I mean, how much more Eldar do you need? Looking at the, the shape, I mean, obviously it's Wraithbone orientated. I mean, yeah, again, not a single mold line anywhere absolutely amazing product um, I mean there's a tiny tiny piece here but apart from that amazing I mean obviously the gems you could use these as you know edge defense lines or just you know just random barricades just for blocking line of sight really impressed with them 
Um, but I would highly recommend at the moment as well on the on the website. I think these have currently got. Um, I think it's forty percent off. They're about five euros and eighty cents. Um, so definitely get them um, and get as many as many as you can really, especially while they're on uh, promotion. They look absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to using them, especially with me being. Uh, Graham's got his old art, but I think I'm considered on the channel as uh, the Eldar guy. Um, looks as all... Oh, wow. Marvellous. So this is one of the barricades that we asked for um, that I'd seen on the website. I mean, look at the detail on this. I mean, you can see even... Just zoom in a bit close there. I mean, even the, the, the effect of the wood and the little rope on there is absolutely amazing. So you've got what looks to be like a, like a LAS pistol, rhino doors with obviously bullet holes and scratch marks on it. it looks as though the Tyranids have maybe been attacking our chaos. The skulls. I mean, they haven't they haven't let down on any of the detail anywhere. There's there's a couple of times where you might end up. I mean, if you're casting yourself or anything like that, you might end up getting lazy, um, and yeah, it might end up skipping out all of these you know tiny little details. But absolutely amazing. And it looks like a jet engine. Maybe it's off, I don't know, maybe it's off some kind of orc vehicle. Same again around the back as well. There's, you know, rocks, skulls, ammo, ammo supply dumps. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, even on the bottom, nice and smooth. Pretty much straight away, ready to, ready to go. Very, very happy with that. So that is the small box there. Um, right, so what I'll do is the bottom box obviously got my details on the front and as much as I love you guys I ain't letting you uh, be able to send us anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the knife to this, I'm going to open it up so I'll be back in two moments. Right, so, okay, so I have just opened the box, um, I haven't looked in it, nothing like that. Um, and what I can say is that this is, looks as though it's absolutely crammed. So. It looks as though I'm gonna to have to tear into this with a knife. Now, anybody obviously who's quite young, you know, get some help from an adult. I'm just gonna slice down the box. Now it's very, very well packed. Just be very careful opening it because there's anything inside of here. I mean, look at all this. I mean, I, half of this I did not even ask for. I mean, there's tons, absolutely tons of stuff in here. And, Blown away by the amount of stuff that is inside of this. So, what have we got? We've got what looks to be some kind of. Yeah, it looks as though it's like a trench system. Certainly connected onto that. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, look at the detail on that. You can see obviously all the all the mud marks and you know, it looks as though that there's. I mean, there's not an ounce of flash on any of these. Absolutely amazing. They, they will definitely, definitely be used. Um, and imagine like a Tau gun line behind this. Uh, or Imperial Guard. Uh, that would look amazing. And there's also an, another section there as well. So, absolutely on the name of that. Um, what else do we have? I mean, there's uh, just... I mean, look at the pile. The pile is amazing. Looks as though we've got... Trim wall sections. Yeah, it looks, it looks as though it's wall sections. Definitely 40k. That could be used in absolutely any scenario. And same again. Just flawless. Absolutely flawless. So it's them. Um, looks as though we've got some rather big packages. I'll tell you what, let's get the big stuff done first. Oh, wow. I mean, look at that how i mean you couldn't get any more 40k looking and i mean the detail on this i mean look there's there's cracks you can see that's all there's dirt bits fell off on the bottom i mean that is a, absolutely fantastic i'll definitely be ordering some more of these i mean not not a scratch of, of flash on this at all the custom process is amazing for these i can't can't follow it i mean that's absolutely brilliant and there's a smaller section here as well so yeah, I mean, there's way too much stuff that they've sent me. I mean, I can only, you know, thank you very much to Spellcrow Miniatures for doing this. It's just, there's so much stuff to do. I'm going to be very, very busy indeed. 
mean, you've got what looks to be, I think they're doors. Um, not sure on what vehicle they would go on. Um, but very chaos looking. Um, so it looks as though they would be on some kind of uh, vehicle. Not 100% sure on that. I think what they might be for actually is to, on things like predators, uh, to to stick them in the places of pit, uh, like the the empty spaces. So quite happy with that. Um, looks as all well got some hooded hooded miniatures here. Very cool. Um, could be. Um, could be it could be Dark Angels inspired as well. Um, I mean that looks a little bit like um, the Dark Eldar artwork. So we might use these for if I get some Rangers, some Eldar Rangers. Um, some of these more like the, this style, I think would look really cool on Eldar Rangers. Do a little bit of a conversion work there, and then you've got replicated on that side. So amazing, amazing work. I've got cloaks as well. They always come in handy for pretty much anything and everything that I collect, so very good for that. And same again, I mean, there's some more different styles with what looks to be... Yeah, I mean, oh wow. I mean, on these ones, you've got like Black Templar looking symbols, like incense. Very nice. They'd be perfect for things like chaplains. Very good. Very nice. You've got tattered ones here as well. Do you see? Yeah, it looks as though it's tattered, like torn and worn, and chaos looking faces in it. Absolutely brilliant. Couldn't couldn't fault it. I mean, none of us actually do black Templars yet, but I'm highly tempted now. I mean, look at this for the top hatch of a rhino or a predator. Absolutely brilliant. There's the. The doors, of course, as well. And the detail on that. Absolutely. Just cannot follow it. And what else do we have here? And, I mean, they've sent us absolutely tons and tons and tons of stuff here. So I'm literally like a kid in a candy store. So I can only thank Spellcrow a million times over. Oh, these are amazing. Fuel tanks. They will always, always come in handy for terrain, scatter terrain. I mean, just it, the the cast on them is just really, really nice. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with going through absolutely everything. Um, but the main things, I mean, that I wanted to show you guys is, I mean, just the, the products themselves are just, they speak for themselves, really. I mean, you've got thunder hammers here. I mean, it looks as though that they're more, yeah, they are the more like space wolf style ones. You can see the space wolf runes on there. Brilliant. Um, torsos always, always come in handy. In fact, I tell a lie. I am going to go through everything um, because why not? It's a kid in a candy store. So I want to look at everything and I want to show you guys everything. And missile launchers. Graham will probably want to pinch these off me. But they are for the channel, so of course he will have them. Um, very nice. I mean, the detail on the missile pods. Lots of time. I can only imagine how difficult that is to actually to cast that. I mean, that's brilliant. You've got... Uh, where are we at? Looks as though these are... Orc style power claws. Oh, look at them. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's a small amount of flash there, but apart from that, I mean, you've have seen the amount of product, uh, stuff that I've looked over, and that's the first lot of major flash. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's actually part of the design with cuts in there. So each one of them's slightly unique anyway, but yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so my bad. That's actually not flash. I thought it was from that angle. You can see a little bit. It looks a little bit like flash, but it's actually part of the design. That's brilliant. So yeah, we've got them for orcs. Uh, no doubt Graham will want to pinch them. Um, 
My Tiffy's still continuing his ox, of course. Very, very slowly. But, um... They'll be, they could be used for anything. I mean, even scatter terrain or put them on a base of somebody na nasty and killed an orc. It looks as though these are, yeah, wolf pelts. They could be used for space wolves. Amazing. Very, very nice. Uh, Graham did used to do uh, space wolves a long time ago. I mean, if he, this might urge him to start off again. If you want to sp st uh, see space wolves, um, on the channel um, leave a comment tell Graham to get Space Wolves back again so with me being the Thousand Suns player um, I don't think I'll be getting the Space Puppies anytime soon we've got some more doors here these look as though these are generic like demon oh wow and look at that poking out I mean this very very nice looks really cool I'll be wanting to do something with one of them in the future but a lot of pieces um, lots and lots and lots of toys it's always nice to have new toys looks as though these are the noise marine inspired stuff very very cool noise marine weapons as well they are very cool their faces on the front. That is awesome. More torsos there. Oh, actually, get these ones out. Because these ones have faces on them as well. It looks as though these are for... Yeah, they are for Space Wolf uh, type. I mean, I suppose it'd be used for anything. I mean, look at the beard. It's always nice to have a beard. But, I mean, the... the the cast on these are, are amazing. Quite fond of that guy there. Looks like a ranger. Very, very nice. Very impressive. And you've got your generic ones here as well, so you can just swap them out and, you know, swap them out and put them on for your own marines. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Some, looks as though these are... Yep, looks as though these are some orcs. Just get these out to show you the faces. Bionic leg and everything. How cool is that? Very nice. Yep. Very cool. Lots and lots of orc alternative faces as well. The gas mask on and smoke the cigar. Very, very cool. Very nice. What else do we have? Some more orcs stuff. What looks to be, yeah, these look as though these could be for like uh, these Space Wolf style legs. I think they're called the Legionnaires on the website. Very cool. Some Tyranid looking stuff in a bag here. These look as though they are like miniature Crushing Claws. They look awesome. Oh, actually, no, they're not. They are not for Tyranids, by the looks of it. It looks as though they could be used for... Could be used for Possessed. As you can see, the joint here. Yeah, looks as though they could be for Possessed. Nice. They look awesome. As you can see, there's, uh, there's more smaller cloaks in that one there. What's these? Looks as though these are... Ooh! I don't actually have um, Imperial based armies, but these would look amazing. I mean, they look as though they would be on Terminators, or I suppose, yeah, there's the hands for them. I suppose you could file one of these down and you could stick one of them on an Imperial Knight. Um, but very nice. I mean, look at the, the, like the chains and stuff. Really cool. We've also got jump packs here your own unique jump packs very nice there aha right now we're getting to some stuff some juicy stuff that uh, that I'm interested in I mean of course I'm interested in everything but some of the stuff that I would be using 
much give the give you just for these these look absolutely phenomenal look at the detail on these i will most certainly be using these i'm actually working on my second squad of thousand suns and i've got a feeling that he will be having some of these on on his shoulder pads just to just to make the uh, the sorcerer unique and different so i mean there's different designs there's like a rep replicated so you could have you know one on one side one on the other that's amazing they look really cool you've also got helmets as well now i did have an idea when i saw these on the website got a bit of a, a bit of an idea for what to use these for and these look absolutely amazing Let's zoom in a bit i mean these would be definitely useful for a uh, thousand suns any miniatures really now I was thinking about using some of these for maybe the Scarab Cult Terminators or a Terminator Lord. So they look awesome. I mean the ridges as well, they would make it quite easy to get the paintbrush in there as well. And yeah, they're really cool. Alternative uh, alternative jetpack uh, backpacks on the back. Which is all these and more. I don't know if these are Chaos or I think these are yes these are uh, Space Wolf themed so even if you're doing heresy uh, if you're doing the Horus Heresy 30k uh, a lot of these kind of uh, styles because they look as though they're a little bit of an older style as well uh, these would be really handy so I'll definitely check out uh, the site because I mean as you can see there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff Any Space Wolf players out there as well, I mean look at, I'm just going to get one of these out, I mean look at this, just to change things up a bit, I mean these are all shoulder pads, there's the back, there's the front, I mean how cool is that? That is amazing, I mean you could convert up your own little lords and everything, I mean that is absolutely brilliant. You've also got another another set in here as well with the um, with like teeth on the bottom of it I mean how that just looks fantastic this has made me want to do a space wolf army but uh, nope <laughs> too busy doing uh, traitor stuff may end up doing space wolves in the future what's this oh um, right found some stuff here that I think um, Michael, who's appeared on the channel um, with his Death Guard, might like these. How cool are them? Alternative shoulder pads, they are absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that. That is class. You've got also replicated there as well. You've got maggots coming out of it and got the little nurgling sat there looking all cheeky yep i definitely think um these would look amazing on plague marines and i think michael will most certainly be wanting to poach these off us and he's more than welcome to them as well because i think these would look amazing on his army so almost at the end uh for these just a couple more things to just to look through um, just give you all a pretty look. Oh wow! Alternative poses for the My Thousand Sun models could do with some of these. Yes, yeah, certainly could make some uh, nice little sorcerers out of that. And yet again, replicated that way. So very, very nice. Noise Marine for any of you Slanesh players out there. Uh, Noise Marine themed shoulder pads. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed got oh wow cool got what looks like weapons here just get these out to give you a bit of a more detailed look oh how cool is the detail frost axes frost swords i mean some of these look like um i mean i'm not i'm not too familiar on space wolf term terminology but i think these are the frost blades or frost swords and then you've got the frost axes i mean they're amazing very cool. Uh, so just two more things to look over. Just uh, some what looks to be a 
looks as though these could be Wolfen style arms. Yeah, it looks as though they could be, or just bare arms, not too sure. But still, I mean, the detail on them is absolutely brilliant. And then finally, uh, we also have our. Oh, now, I don't actually have a rhino for my Thousand Sons at the moment. Um, plan on getting one eventually. And these will certainly be getting used on it. I mean, look at look at that. Very zinch looking. With all the eyes. I'd be looking forward to painting all these in. All the detail. Stick them on. Job's a good one. Yeah, very impressed with that. So, absolutely amazing products. I mean, I think um, I've been sent way too much stuff than what... Uh, what I expected, um, so I can only thank Spellcrow a million times over. So, if you haven't already checked out Spellcrow miniatures, certainly, certainly check them out. You have seen, obviously, quite an extensive review, of course. I just wanted to make sure that you've got to see everything up front. I did not expect that amount of stuff to be sent through. So, once again, um, thanks so much, Spellcrow. I'm um, looking forward to getting these painted up. Uh, dotting them around on our on our battle uh, on our battle reports as well so uh, certainly check out spellcrow uh, the um, spellcrow's website uh, there'll be a link in the in the description and like i say the, there's there's so much variety of it and the custom is amazing on it so certainly check them out um so keep keep an eye on the channel for a lot of the spellcrow products will be making an appearance especially things like the uh, the barricades and the terrain stuff um, and also the additional like the Thousand Suns based things as well so expect to see them shortly uh, but apart from that thanks very much for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed this review certainly check out Spellcrow Miniatures awesome awesome guys can only thank them enough and until next time happy wargaming